You're live. We're live. Hi everybody, it's Alan Williamson again with At Home Crypto. Been a little tough to make some videos for you lately because life happens and you know that kind of stuff. But today I wanted to bring you something that's very new and I'm really happy with it. It's the B250 FinTech, this new motherboard. Got this for only 169 bucks at a micro center that was near us. And just happened to come across it. I think for the price it's fantastic and really would recommend it. Some things I want to show you about this board because it is a little unique and if you're on a budget, okay, so this is the 169, 169 US dollars. They also make this one the same family, the B250M DS3H. Uh, this is a, it's very durable also, but it only has uh, three PCIe slots. So, and this is about $72 for, so if you're on a budget, this is a really good board also. But today I wanted to show you this board, the B250 FinTech, and some of the uniqueness and why I really like it. The first reason I really like it is the 12 GPU PCIe slots. You have a single PCIe 1 by 16 and all the rest are PCIe uh, 1 by 1s that you see there. And we're still building it. And you see, uh, so I'm not, this isn't a system that I plan to ever sell. So that's why you see it set up like this on the rack and very open air sitting on cardboard. And you can even see over here, I've got you know some GPUs hanging there. Um, what this is, this comes with it, okay? Normally, as you've seen in the past, I showed you how to do the power um, buttons and this actually comes with it. It slides out and it comes in its own bag in the motherboard box. And of course, the mother, the mother this is powered off right now. There, but it's a power on and power uh, reset buttons. Unlike the AS Rock, which has the buttons actually on the board, uh, Gigabyte provided the, this, and it goes in to this far side. Just, there, we slide that in. When you need to turn it on, you push that button, or either one, there's two there actually. And one thing to note is actually it does the LEDs also. The ports and the pins that it's connected to is for the power, the reset, and the LEDs, if you wanted those. Okay, but this does come with it. Another thing that comes with this, because they know that you're, this board is made for miners, it comes with a three, uh, three PSU splitter. And I've done videos for these in the past with the two PSUs, power supplies that can connect to one motherboard. This is three of them, and they actually provided this. It comes with it. So I thought that was good if you didn't have, like for us here, I've got a 1600 watt that's powering right now seven, GPUs and the motherboard. I'm going to add another, uh, I think an 850 to that and just use one of my double ones. We can save this for the future. But again, it comes with this three, three uh, to one PSU splitter. Okay. Another thing I wanted to point out again with this board, there's no onboard HDMI. Okay. It worked fine for this. It even shows my, for my FOS. I've been using that. And for when I tried Windows 10, it worked for that also. So use this if you want to, or if you use FOS, they recommend using your one by 16 HDMI, but there is no HDMI on board on this one. Another thing to point out is that it's got similar to like the AS rock series. It's got these Molex connectors here. It's got two of them, one and two right by the, P the buses for the PCIe buses. So you have two of them there, okay? Plug those in with your PSU. Don't use a different PS power supply for both of them. Use the same power supply for both of those. As you see, I'm using a single cable for this. Normally I'd try to use different, but our power supply didn't uh, allow that, it come with enough cables. So, and it really is a very durable board. It's working great for me with just like that, but make sure that you do have both plugged in there if you max out. I recommend, I mean, if you know you're gonna max out, if you have this board, max out, use all 12, go ahead and plug it in on both of these to begin with, because you're gonna, if you are gonna max out. And again, this is a absolutely fantastic board. I'm really impressed with it. I love that they gave the power button here. It's not, just a little add-on. It's, you know, we probably a couple bucks is usually what I pay for my little buttons, but it's a little nicer looking and a little more durable. And then um, also it's the 1151 uh, chipset. So everybody has those sitting around. I thought that was great. I expected the eighth gen on this, but it's, it is fine. It's the 1151. This is a Celeron that's running in there for my FOS uh, drive. Okay, so that's really what I wanted to show you today about this. This again is the B250 FinTech 12 GPU supported on this motherboard. Uh, another note, it's a maximum 12. There's not M2 adapter slots on it at all. Um, so that's, it's 12 with 12. 
But again, I really recommend it. I've been very happy with this. The I may do a video on the BIOS for it because the BIOS, it has a setting, or the UEFI has a setting for that says mining um, optimized, and then it's just automatically set to enable to begin with. But uh, I haven't played around with the UEFI too much because I haven't needed to, but make sure that if you see any problems with when you're mining, uh, to go into the BIOS and make sure that it is set to enable, which is the default. So you would have had to change that, or if it came, the, if this board was used, then they may have changed it prior to you having it. But make sure that you go in, that's one of the first things I did was see what the UEFI settings were. And again, there's a setting for mining there. In that UEFI, make sure that's enabled so that it's fully optimized. So I'd love to hear some questions. Let me know what you think of this board also. Ask me any questions about it. And we're going to uh, do a few more videos for you coming up. I'm going to do one of the AS Rock series very soon. Thank you very much, everyone.